cars have been around since the 1920s, and over time since the technology has gotten better, so has the development of new cars. Um, I am a car guy who loves cars, and I do care about the environment, and I want to try and clean it up a little. Um, people need to know how they can better the environment by just on what type of car they choose to buy. Today, I will tell you the advantages and disadvantages of each type of car that is gasoline powered and electric powered, um, and then I will tell you why I think electric is better. Uh, first, let's look at gasoline power cars. Um, the advantages is a big source of fuel, and but what I mean by that is um, there's everywhere you go, you go, you can find a gas station. Uh, we live in a small town in Doylestown, and how many gas stations do we have? Three. Um, so, uh, plus the advantage of that is they're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, whenever you need gas, it's there. Uh, second is low maintenance cost. How many types of cars are there? I mean, there's so many, it's unreal. Um, so, like, if your car decides, like, hey, I'm going to take a dump one day and, <laughs> and uh, break down, you can go to a maintenance shop and they, they can get you a part for low cost since the demand is high and the supply is high. Um, easy access to accessories. Uh, you can go to your local Walmart and they have car parts, like things for your seats and radios and things like uh, subwoofers in the car. Who, who does not like subwoofers in their cars? Um, and then the last advantage is easy opportunity for repairs. How many mechanics are, are there that are willing to work cars? I have an uncle who is a mechanic. So luckily for me, I can get mine at a cheap price. Uh, but over time, the engines uh, have gotten more complex and more computerized. So these guys have gotten better over time. They're not afraid to work on gasoline-powered things. Um, the disadvantages is it's unhealthy for you, uh, meaning the gas, breathing in the fumes of the gas, uh, is very harmful to the body and may be linked to cancer. Um, even something simple as politics, uh, you know, we have troops in Iraq and Iran right now, mostly in Iran for the oil. Iran holds a lot of the oil that we need to be able to make gas. Um, it's high, high use of fossil fuel, meaning um, gasoline, it uses a lot. Uh, we may be risk, at risk to run out, so we need to find some new source of energy instead of gasoline. And last but not least, it's bad for the environment. Uh, the pollutants that the gasoline does when it uh, comes out of the engine, your, your, uh, your exhaust pipe, it, uh, the carbon monoxide actually floats up and creates a hole in the ozone layer. And the ozone layer protects us from UV rays that hold radiation, so the depletion of the ozone means that there are more cases of skin cancer year-round. Um, now let's move on to the electric car. The advantages, the advantages of the electric car. There's no gas required. Woohoo! You save it at the pump. You're not spending three fifty a gallon. Um, it's uh, easy access to charge. You can plug it in anywhere that you have an outlet that can supply you with the amount of electricity you need. Uh, there's no pollutants because there's no gasoline that the engine burns. So there's that. And last but not least, something simple as safety. There's no gas, there's no fumes when you're dealing with an electric car. So. In case of a car accident, 
nothing will catch on fire. I mean, you will have things catch on fire, obviously, but there's nothing, there's no fuel source for that fire to keep burning off of whenever you get into a car accident, possibly. Hopefully you're a good driver, and you don't get the car crashes. Um, the disadvantages are, these cars come at a cost, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the, sim uh, the cheapest car out there is the Chevy Volt at about $30,000, but they can get they can get up there in price, some costing uh, over $100,000. Um, these cars are silent but deadly. There's no sound in the car because it's all electric. So if you're driving on the highway or driving in roads and you're trying to pass somebody on the highway, they might not hear you. and boom, crash, so there, these can lead to accidents. Um, long wait at the outlet. It, call, it takes 45 minutes for your battery to charge. All of them. Um, and then last but not least is uh, the range at which the battery lasts. Um, it lasts about 25 miles. So, but not all of them last 25 miles. If you want to get a car that ranges to more miles mileage, you want to look at the price, though. Yeah, it goes up as your miles go up. Um, let us look at the options between the two different types of cars now. Um, why is the electric car the better option? The options are better. Less harmful on the environment. Doesn't put pollutants in the air. Um, even though there's a high cost for the electric electric car, the price does does even out in the long run because you don't have to pay for um, gas. Uh, doesn't take up fossil fuels, meaning we can use fossil for, for uh, we can use fossil fuels for things like heat. You know, to heat your house so you're not getting cold at night. Now, go out. Go out and strongly consider buying an electric car. It could keep you healthier longer and save the environment. Because that's what we care about. You could go save the world, go green, and buy electric.